If you remember when we started making our map using the new map wizard, I mentioned that we were going to add a grid to our map later on. Now's the perfect time to do that. To create a grid, we're going to use the drawing tool over here, the grid drawing tool. However, we'd first better set the color that we want for our grid. I find that using a nice darkish color to match the just sort of be slightly offset the background of the map is the best way to go. So in that case, I'm going to use a bluish color here. Select OK. Save now. So we have now changed the default color. Let's now click on the grid drawing tool and it gives us a range of options. We can select to use a hexagonal grid or a square grid. I'm going to use a hexagonal grid because I'm a bit old school you can set the size of the grid in terms of spacing. I'm going to make this one 20 miles wide grids. We're going to leave the grid labeling on and pretty much everything else can be remains as standard and just click apply. In a flash we now have a beautiful grid, hex grid, all correctly numbered over our map. Unfortunately our grid is basically sitting over the top of quite a lot of stuff. As you can see it's sitting over the top of our mountains and our trees. That looks sort of okay. It's sitting over the top of our land which is absolutely okay. But it's sitting over the top of our heading. What's interesting is that the grid is not sitting over the top of our text along here. Basically all of our text map labels. The reason for this is again to do with sheets. Let's go over to the Sheets tool and take a look. We'll click on Sheets and Effects. If we look down the column here, you'll see that our grid sheet is actually lower than our text map labels, which were the labels that we used in the sea and for the villages and so forth. But it is actually higher than the text that we use for our headings. So what we're going to do is we're going to click on our grid and we're going to use this button here to move it up above the heading text. In fact, I'm going to move it all the way up above my symbols. All the way up here. The way that sheets work is the sheets higher in the list are drawn first and then everything else is drawn over the top of them. And I actually want my symbols, such as my forests, to be drawn over the top of my grids in this particular case. Let's click on OK and see what it looks like. There you go. You can now see that our grid is a little bit less intrusive. Looking quite good so far. However, it still is a bit harsh. Like all things in Campaign Cartographer, using sheets is the way to soften up things and to sort of blend things together to make them look more like artwork. What I'm now going to do is click on Sheets and Effects again, click on my grid, and I'm going to add an effect to it. In this case, I'm going to add a very, very soft glow, and we'll make the glow a slightly lighter shade of blue, and we'll make its blur radius, radius about 1.5. That might be a little bit too much, but we'll find out when we actually view it. I'm also going to add another effect to this. I'm going to make it transparent. I'm going to actually make the grid fade into the rest of the map by a factor of 50%. Clicking on OK and OK. Well, our map certainly, the grid certainly fades in the background, but it's currently a little bit too, well, there's too much of a glow to it. So I'm going to click on the sheets again, click on my grid, click on my glow and edit and I'm going to bring that back to no more than 0.5 click on OK there you go it's now faded into the back much more effectively so that's how you place a grid onto your map however a lot of the time we don't really want to see that grid maybe that grid is only good for the game master in order to turn the grid off at least turn the view of the grid off, you can click on the Layers function here, scroll down till you find Grid, Hex and Square Grid, and we can turn it off 
by hiding it. The middle row of elements here, or buttons here, is for hiding specific layers. Clicking OK, we'll turn our grid off.